everyone. It's a bit windy where I am today. I'm up on a ridge here, as you can see. Quite the view. It's time for another featured Friday, and today, instead of a hand sample of rock or mineral or fossil, I have a feature that you'll see on the landscape. So I am above, what you'll see is white stuff down there. That's a bunch of talc mines. Um, I did a full length video on talc. Uh, so if you want to learn about talc, definitely check that video on. It's very interesting. There's lots of details. Um, so yeah, you can learn about talc there. Um, but you can see these features. There's there's some dolomite down there. That's a lot of the tannish to grayish rock that you see. And that dolomite is interacting with volcanic rocks, and that's where you're getting those talc bodies that you see. But that's not the feature we're looking at today. I'll point out a few other things and then I'll tell you which one we're looking at. If you look at the distance there at those mountains, you can hopefully see those rock layers are tilted. If you look at the, the lines of those sedimentary rock layers, you can see some tilting. So pretty cool, lots of cool stuff to look at here. Um, there's a wash that sort of curves up in there. Now, if you follow that wash like that, look at this lighter band here that you see there. Watch it, it goes like this and then it curves around. Now it is in the distance. Um, I'll talk about these more and show you some closer views. In fact, I can do a little bit there. Check that feature out. I'll try to hold it as still as possible. Sorry if the wind is trying to push me off this ridge, but that's the joy of, of loving geology is you find yourself on ridges quite a bit. So, okay, so yeah, like I said, there's a better view of those tilted rock layers I was talking about. But then, yeah, this band right here, you, whoop, it goes around there. Do you know what's going on there? That's our feature today that you can try to guess at. Actually, we have something interesting there too. But let's just say, what is what is going on? How does that curve like that? Like, what, what are we looking at? What happened? And if you know what it's called, stick it in the comments. This is your challenge for today's Featured Friday. A little different. Uh, I'll do a couple of these that will be different than just the hand samples. But um, check it out. I'll pan around and show you the view while you think about it too. Let me zoom back out here. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful here? Love geology. Love the desert. Lots of geology and ecology to check out here. Great exploration, hiking history, archaeology, all kinds of stuff in this area. Okay, let's head back one more time in case you need another look. Jog your memory. If you don't remember what it's called, maybe you know what's happening there. Okay, so when when the rock layers like that curve back on themselves, we call that a recumbent fold. So again, I have a lot of cool places where I'll show you more of these. I have some in mind, and as I as I come across them, I'll, I'll feature them here on Let's Go Geo because they're really cool looking features, and they really show the way these rocks have been just pushed around and folded. That's a recumbent fold coming back on itself. And I'm not sure from this distance if there is a fault or if there's just, but it, there might be some faulting. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. That's why we have a lot of different useful minerals. But anyway, since it's so windy, I will leave you guys with that feature for the day. Stay tuned because every Friday I'll be featuring some rock, mineral, fossil, or landscape feature like this here at Let's Go Geo. See you on the next adventure.